What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video, baby. FGC is back. I know I haven't taken a break from filming, but I kind of did because I just got back from vacation from Colorado. I had the absolute time of my life. We had an absolute blast there. We did some hiking. We saw some cool stuff. It was a much needed break where I haven't had a true break in over two years. I have not had a real just completely stopped filming break in literally two years, just grinding content. So it was much needed, but I'm back baby and get ready for videos to be absolutely cranked out. But first things first, shout out of the day in the comment section goes to Emma. She thinks that we are the best. We make lighthearted content and she says FGC makes her laugh. It's always good. It's supposed to be funny, lighthearted content. Everyone's supposed to have fun on this channel. Fish guys for life. Thank you, Emma. Appreciate you. Absolutely fish guys for life. And then our membership shout out will go to Fuzzy Wuzzy. Thank you Fuzzy Wuzzy for the membership. Remember guys, if you guys wanna join the channel, become a member of the channel, you get some great emotes and you are single-handedly, specifically supporting the channel and my videos because making videos isn't free and just the extra support means the absolute world to me. So I appreciate you guys so much for giving me the extra love and the extra support. Thank you Fuzzy Wuzzy. Now, Today's video, we are focusing on the fish guy tank. Yes, the one in my room, the FGC tank. That's what we're gonna call it. We're gonna call it the first ever FGC fish tank that's in my room. That's what we're gonna be focusing on today. We're gonna be decorating it, so stay tuned, be prepared. We're gonna transform that tank top to bottom, make it look absolutely awesome. So let's jump into the video, let's have a good time, and let's set up a tank. Guys, before we start, I just wanna show you how ridiculously awesome my minnows are. I think I might make a mini, another mini pond just for minnows because I love them, dude. They're sick. Like, check this out. Look at these guys. They all just come up to my hand and are just absolutely chilling. I can literally scoop all of them up. Like, they're homies, man. I love these things. They just hang out, they have a good time. Parrotfish is looking to bite my finger off. But the minnows, trying to give me a manicure, man. They're homies. I love them. I still have my couple in here. I got a couple minnows in there. They're giving me manicure. You can't really see these ones because they're lighter in color. But guys, I'm still waiting for my fish to come in. I have to like accept the delivery. And now that I'm back from vacation, I can now accept that delivery. So delivery is gonna be coming very soon for the mini pond. The DIY, majorly DIY mini pond. So that is coming very soon. So let's get into the video. Just wanna give you guys a quick update on the minnows. Let's get into the video. So guys, I'm out here by the pond because sometimes we have extra decor around, laying around the pond. Now we did have some tiny log in here in the pond. I can't find it for some reason. So I'm looking behind the pond because I have an idea. Oh, what's this? That is a disgusting log. Can I use that? Uh, I need something to make the tank pop, you know? Something to really captivate the fish in the pond. So I had an idea. These are, these are extra rocks that get sucked up into the filter and we just dump them out because they get stuck in here. We don't put them back in the pond because because the rocks are an issue. So I could take all these rocks, bring them back in a bucket to my house and I could maybe use some of these rocks for my aquarium. So let's get some rocks. You know, you guys know I love rocks. Rocks are my favorite, man. Doesn't get much better than rocks. Just a couple of them because I'm gonna go over to the rock burial ground. Could have better rock over there. This is our rock burial ground where we put all of the excess rock from the pond. As you can see, it is a legit burial ground. Look at all this rock. Like, it's a ridiculous amount of rock. So I have this whole pile here I could use. So I'm just gonna actually just gonna scoop up a bucket full of those. Call it a day. Those are the ones I'll use. Perfect, baby. Got a bucket full of rocks. Not gonna probably not gonna use all of them, but who knows? We could sprinkle them around the tank and give it a give it an extra feel. So decor number one, extra rock, check. Now, now we gotta scavenge around, look at all the stores, see what kind of decor they have because usually they have absolute shit decor. Could be going to three or four stores right now. That sucks, but it has to be done. We gotta make this tank look phenomenal. Let's do it. There you go. Lucky sand flea rake. Also guys, I had to take my car into the shop and now I have a spare tire that looks horrible on my car because apparently I cracked my rim because I drive like Evil Knievel. So that's not good because now I gotta buy a whole new rim which costs like a thousand dollars. So, uh, whew, not a good start to the day for me. Now let's go get this aquarium set up perfectly. All right, so the first store I went to actually had some pretty okay stuff. You know, I got some, they had a decent amount of rocks and they actually had some driftwood. So I'm just gonna have to use my imagination and put it together. Now keep in mind, this is this tank's gonna be a work in progress. I'm not gonna finish it all today. I'm gonna slowly add to it. Cause I know you guys, a lot of you guys wanted the Star Wars theme, 
So I gotta find something really cool that matches the theme of the tank and then add it in there. So I'm gonna do the foundation first. I'm laying the foundation of the tank and then once it's done, once the foundation is set, I'm gonna slowly add to it, maybe get, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna get yet. I gotta look around the internet, see see if there's something actually cool that can go in a fish tank that is, uh, you know, Star Wars themed, because a lot of you guys wanna see that. So this is the foundation, then we add the epic pieces. So let's get back to the crib and start our construction on the tank. All right, uh, we got racks. So guys, there's the tank. Little news, the filter broke on it. This thing sucks. It does not work at all. Completely broke on it, and I'm gonna have to get a new filter, which also sucks. So that I'm gonna get at the end of the video. I'm not gonna put that in, but I need to get a new filter for this tank. So check out what I got. So I actually got this piece of driftwood, pretty nice. This was like all this stuff at the store, like the decor, they make so expensive. This was like $27. That's insane for a piece of wood, but I got it because I had to do it for you guys. So I got this piece of driftwood. I got these rocks, which were like 10 bucks each. These like nice shelf rocks, because I want to do something with the shelf rock. So we got these guys. Look at that one, that's a nice corner piece. Boom. We got the pond rocks, which I don't know if I'm gonna use yet, we will decide. But look what I found outside my house. I have all this shelf rock that I could have used instead of buying that. So we got extra shelf rock. I got four pieces of shelf rock at, at the store which was like 40 bucks. Sucks, I got really screwed on these. But then I found all this shelf rock for free. Let's go baby, got free shelf rock. So before um, I set up the tank, let's get a few ideas going in our head. I'm gonna show you exactly what I'm looking for. So we are on the trusty computer because I wanna get some good ideas for the tank. Cause I don't know exactly what I wanna do yet, but I have some sort of idea. So let's get some better ideas and more specific ideas on the computer and you guys are coming along with me. Cause I, wanna, I want you to see what I see. So we're not gonna look at anything crazy. We're gonna do a quick Google search freshwater tanks. Fresh water tanks. Boom, let's see what comes up. Oh, I misspelled freshwater, gotta fix that. Freshwater tanks, here we go. So, we go to images. But you know what, I see a lot, like this is like, I, I don't know if I should do that. That's a little too much for me. It's a little much there. Keep going down. This is decent driftwood. Oh, neon Tetris. Nope, not even gonna look at that photo anymore. Get get it out, I don't even want it. Uh, this is pretty cool actually. See, that's some shelf rock. We got we got the we got the wood, we got the shelf rock. We don't, I didn't get any plants. I will do plants maybe in a later video if you guys want it. So if you guys do want plants, drop a like on this video. Let's get to a thousand likes and I'll do plants. So I know if you guys want plants. This one. Okay, so there is some suggestions on here, not a lot. Um, they're kind of bad. So let's, let's see if we can type in freshwater tank shelf rock. Okay. Shelf rock, this looks cool. What a horrible photo. Do people upload literally Mario Nintendo 94 quality photos? Look at this terrible picture. Like that is cool. I don't know how I'm gonna make them levitate though. That's a little hard. Like this is kind of the feel, a lot of cichlids in there. That's that's cool, dude. I've never done cichlids. Okay, we're, we're, we're gonna do something cool today. What else we got? Guys, the inspiration on the internet is lacking. There's not many things that exactly what I'm looking for here. So we might have to wing it. Like kind of like this, but that, that seems like such a saltwater tank. Once again, Mario quality. Oh, there we go. Like that's decent, but it's all the same style rock. That looks good though. Okay, so let's try to do something like that. Maybe something like this, like that together. Okay, we have an idea. Let's get the idea. Let's put the idea into action now. Let's get this tank, start going. And let's see what we can come up with, man. Okay, now the only bad part is this thing isn't gonna sink. So what I have to do is what I have to do is tie this rock to this log to make it sink. So which way do we want it? I feel like maybe upwards would look cool like that. Coming out of the water a little bit. Okay, let's do it like that. So I'm gonna tie it. I got fishing line. All I gotta do is tie it here so it sinks and it's gonna be perfect. Alright, we got our we got our driftwood guys. Let's go, baby. FGC's coming up in the world. That should hold it. Let's see if it does hold it. Now, I don't know if I want to do a staggered tank, maybe the driftwood on the right and then the shelf on the left. That might look good. Let's just see what this looks like in the tank. Beautiful. That is our first addition, baby. Let's go. Okay, the log was the hardest part. The log was easily the hardest part. We did. There's the first piece of decor in the tank. Now, the finishing touch is going to be the light. I don't have the light on it yet. I have to use this light right here, which is blinding on it. But the finishing touch will be the light. So there's our piece of driftwood in the log. Now. Over here, I'm gonna put the shelf rock. The shelf rock's gonna look good. I'm kinda gonna stack it up and see how it looks at the end. Hopefully it looks kick-ass because I wanna put some cool fish in this tank. So let's just start leveling it up and see what it looks like. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go with it. I'm gonna wing it. Okay guys, I'm sorry, that ta this tank looks awful right now. So I went to the store, I got a light. This is the first order business. I know I put the log in already. This is the real first, first order business. We're putting this light on this tank. It is gonna make it look so much better. So let's just do it first. Before we decorate the tank, we're getting, we gotta get this light on there. As always, FGC always has his trusty knife. This is the best knife in the world. Best knife. 
Boom, let's go. Looks so good. Okay, there is the tank with the light on. Looks so much better. I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna keep that log there, honestly. Might put it in the middle or, I don't know. I'm definitely gonna try burying those rocks a little bit more and make it look a little bit more natural. And then I'm just gonna start building with the shelf rock. I think I just honestly need to hop into it and uh, just go with the flow. I'm gonna try to work some magic. I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna go where the fish take me, you know? I'm gonna go where the fish gods take me. Let's do it. Let's get building, baby. We gotta turn this into something much better. Holy cow, guys. I just absolutely grinded in here. I don't. I can't really even tell what it looks like because it's so murky in that tank, but I cannot wait to show you guys. I gotta give it a day, make sure it's super clear for you, and then I'm gonna show you the tank. But FGC went to town on this thing. I don't know what, even what I did. I just threw a bunch of shit in there. Hopefully it looks good. I think it looks good. Once it clears up, I'm gonna show you guys the finished product. First impressions. Oh my God, it's a disaster. Is it? What do you think about it? Way too much. Way too much, you know? Okay, can you help I, me fix it? Yeah, I'm here to save the day. Okay, Brooks gonna help me fix it. Let me show you guys what it looks like really, really quick. So yeah, this is what I have set up right now. I don't know, guys. I threw it together and I couldn't see because it was so murky. I think it's a little bit too much too. I think Brooks gonna help me now. But I, I really tried, guys. Everything was just going wrong. I couldn't see anything. I didn't even film it because I was getting so irritated. So that's what we're working with right now, but I think manager Brooks gonna come help me. I even sprinkled in the rocks to make it look like a real feel, Brooke. It's bad, she thinks it sucks. Really bad. It's bad? Brooke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brooke, what do you think should be? I don't be... wanna be on You camera. have to. Brooke is always complaining about not being on camera, but she comes in here and says, that tank looks like shit, and she expects me to not. Does it really look like shit? I think you ruined it by sprinkling the rocks in. You gotta get the rocks out. Brooke, hold the camera. Manager Brooke is filming today. Yes! I love that. Okay, what do you <laughs> think I should do? You tell me, what do you think I should do in this general area? Like this area here? What do you think I should fix in this so area? So the whole area? <laughs> yes! What do you think I should fix? Come on! I think you need to put the driftwood log in the middle. This is just, it just shows that I'm the one that does all the tank stuff. There you go, guys. Brooke is the one. <laughs> Brooke, are you looking Somehow at me? Somehow I'm still doing it. And Brooke, this is even my channel. Come on, can you help me? What do you think I should do? You tell me, what do you think I should do? Take out the rocks in the middle. All of them. All the ones in the middle there? Yeah. Look at my fish king. I am the fish king. Get the box already, people. Get your fish king mystery box if you want to be a true goddamn fish king. There's more than this inside, trust me. Okay, I'm actually getting this rock out, correct? Mm-hmm. We have multiple rocks out of the aquarium. Brooke, talk to me. What are we thinking here? I think it looks better already. I think I just leave it like that. No. All right, what? Like the reason slightly. why there's slight dog hair is because I put the rock on my carpet. I put the rock on my carpet. <laughs> And the carpet was had dog hair on it and it got stuck to the rock. And then when I put it in the tank, there was hair in the tank. So you know what I did? I took my fish guy knife and as you can see on the ground, there is no longer a carpet <laughs> because I cut it to shreds and I threw it out in the garbage. That's what I did. Because I was so angry that there was dog hair in there. But guess what? I got the filter, it's gonna filter it out. But I was that upset. Now it's a levitating log. Okay, I like it. It's a Jedi. Okay, it's a, it's oh, a Jedi. There's log. your Star Wars tank right there. Okay, it's a Jedi, it's a Jedi, Jedi log. log. Now let's work on this piece of shit. Okay. Well, Take all that out. Take all of it out? Yeah. Wow, we're really remodeling, huh? Mm-hmm. This is a full-blown remodel. What do I do with the pebbles? Take them out too? Yes, hate the pebbles. Brooke hates the pebbles. The pebbles have been removed and are exiting the premises. It will be set down right here. Good fucking riddance. Next, Brooke. Take all of them out? Yeah. Uh, Brooke, I think it looks better already. The problem is these rocks are ginormous. I think we need to throw them in the ground. You know what you can do? What? Put the Darth Vader helmet in there? No. What? I have an idea. Okay, everybody, I have taken everything out of the tank. Brooke said get rid of it all, and she did bring out this. Baby Yoda 1, Baby Yoda 2. She says she wants to make two Jedi temples on either side. Is that correct? Yes. Brooke? We will attempt to make these. Oh, I'm down to smash these in it. Okay, let's smash them. All right, let's, <laughs> let's go fucking smash some shit. I could probably use a hammer. Brooke, it's, I think the door's locked, but I have to get it right now. My neighbors are outside. <laughs> Watch out, don't get your eyes. Yeah, keep going. Yeah. That'll crack. Nice. Yeah. Okay, that's good. We got our, we got our rock. We got our rock, baby. Dark side rock. Light side rock now. Rex. Nice. Perfect. You're not saying it right. You gotta say Rex. Rex. <laughs> I love Rex. You need a shirt for your channel that says Rex. I do. Should I? Yeah. I'm gonna make a shirt that says Rex. R O A. Rex! <laughs> <laughs> How am I supposed to carry all these Rex? Put them in your shirt. Fuck those Rex. Let's go, in. <laughs> Let's go inside. We got our dark side rocks and our light side rocks. Brooke, talk to me. What are we doing? Okay, make a small little tower right in the middle. Cute! Yes! 
fucking Jedi Temple, bitch! <laughs> Let's go! Put your up. Which one? I think this one. Yeah. This is like such a sophisticated baby. Yeah. I gotta make sure to get him in there without toppling it over. Because if I top it over. No, no, he goes on top of it. No, dude. I want him inside of it. Okay, fine. On top? Yes. The fish are gonna knock him over. Oh my god, it's so it's so cute. Yes! Yes! <laughs> You, might, you just needed Drucker. I know, I needed you. I've come up with this structure because it looks like, I don't know, it just looks sharp. So I like it. <laughs> this one I call the Shrine Z Baby Yoda. As you can see, it looks like Baby Yoda. The whole structure looks like him. Actually, no, it doesn't. Look, there's his eyes. Okay. That is a Baby Yoda in a fucking rock form. Yeah, it is. All right, that is so, Brooke, we have killed it today. Okay. We have our Baby Yoda actually there and then our Baby Yoda rock structure because it looks like him. That is like our dedication towards him. You know what would be cool if I can get him floating yeah. with a piece of string? Yeah. Should I do it? Yeah. For real? Uh-huh. Okay. Whoa, oh my gosh. <laughs> this is amazing. Holy moly. I have done it. Brooke, we did it. I know. I could not have done it without miniature Brooke. If she wasn't here, it would still look like shit. So thank you. Look at this tank right now. It is amazing. I have a levitating Baby Yoda. I have a rock structure that is sculpted to look exactly like Baby Yoda. And I have Baby Yoda's Jedi Tower. Jedi Tower. And a levitating log. This is a full-blown Jedi tank. It really is. And it's come together. It looks awesome. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. Let me know in the comments what kind of fish you want to see in here, and we will make it happen. Let's take this ship all the way around the world 19 times. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. FGC out. Guys, I was just... <laughs> I actually exploded the whole fucking house. <laughs> what the hell did you do? You see the walls? Oh, you let go of the hose while it was on?